Is it true that you never come to a performance of Tosca? Well, uh, why? Because I studied uh, Tosca with Puccini himself, and I know every movement, although I, I, I never was the same in every performance. I, I don't believe that we are not a machine which you oil and it goes on and uh, it goes right. the same yeah. thread. And I try to be every performance different, but I, 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 I was really Buccini's creation as Tosca, and, and I... So Tosca is the one exception to Tosca. You don't come. No. But you this did. is like I never would think uh, uh, um, Visidate in concert form or publicly uh, out, uh, out of a performance because I promised it to Puccini that yeah. Tosca, uh, uh, Visidate was a drama itself and he wanted to build it up and it goes out and he never permit to make a, a, a bow to give it after the aria. I hope not. Well, uh, in Italy, well, yes, they do. do. They yes, but do in it. your time, did, but, uh, did you take so vows at the end I, of the I remember, mm. I remember when in, in, in uh, the general rehearsal in Vienna, the baritone was so excited and threw me on the floor, and I thought my nose is bleeding, and I didn't dare to get up, and so the concertmaster gave me a... And, and That's I a tough one to get in, I yeah. know, yeah. on that silent orchestra. And I thought, if I raise now my face with the bloody nose and everything would be <laughs> horrible. And so, uh, all of a sudden, say, basta, basta, basta. He come and uh, say, promise me that you always will sing it on your face down. And so we rehearsed it so long till it go on. That was the scene which the people say that's so famous and, and it was the outstanding scene. But it was... And it just all happened by chance. Uh, by chance right. was a curse out of the scene. Uh, the subject is really the subject is really Strauss <laughs> and not Puccini. But since you have brought him up, one quick question. I seem to remember that you two ladies were also connected with a rather fabulous <clears throat> Puccini occasion, to wit, the first performance of the famous Tritico in Vienna. Uh, where were, in, what, in what part were you, Madame Jones? I think Georgette in Il Tabaro. Il Tabaro and Madame Lehmann. I was Sua Angelica. Uh -huh. yeah. And, and uh, uh, I suppose, by the old rules of competition, you don't remember who the third girl was. You know, there's I one really in, don't. in Gianni's Kiki, there's one too. Yeah, I really Wasn't don't. Wasn't in Rining House? Reining, I think it was. Reining, how Reining. she married uh, uh, Yeah, uh, that's what I said. Yeah. Well, anyhow, um, has anyone ever done all these th three parts? I, I know some people who have. Uh, I, I don't think in Vienna had uh, and, and Certainly in yeah. the time when I was And was, was Puccini there at that time? For that time? Yes, point? yes, he came. He was in Vienna. Yeah. I, I recall I was in, uh, in uh, uh, Bristol and he, I got a telegram to come immediately to Vienna. And uh, I was ordered, that time we were ordered, there was not like you can, we were ordered. You I mean a management be. ordered singers Absolutely. at that time, Madame Absolutely, we Jones. were soldiers. Don't, don't we make were, me envious. Yes, you might be, because we were soldiers, and well. we were under time. And I was ordered back to Vienna, and uh, uh, Buccini came on Monday to the train to meet me, and she said, you have to sing on Saturday, Il Tabaro. I said, you mean you didn't know it at all? I then? didn't know no, anything. She took the place of somebody else, mm -hmm. yeah. whom, whom Buccini didn't like. I remember that very well. And, uh, How can I you learn said, a part in three days? In three days, I, uh, I said, let me sing first Tosca, and Wednesday had the performance was scheduled in his honor, a gala performance. So I sang the Tosca on, on uh, Wednesday, and he came right away home after the performance with me and played for me the first time that part of Il Tavaro uh, of Georgette. Had you ever heard the opera before? I never heard nothing, and so from Thursday uh, till Saturday I learned the part and sang really Saturday um, evening uh, was the premiere. And then he insisted he liked to have a white blouse with big red dots. In all Vienna was not big red dots possible. So he, he went and we bought a three yards of a white uh, material, and he himself with a red pencil painted the dots, and I had the blouse with red dots. Well, that was something. Oh, I remember. You looked very beautiful. I remember. Yeah, I look a real Frenchie. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, you did. That's, that's <laughs> Thank you, the idea. Thank you. You are such a darling. <laughs> uh, that leads me quite easily to a final question which I really didn't have in mind but it's too tempting and I cannot uh, be now be careful, be careful. It. no it was terrible all the time this time you will be in an easy position but some other people might not be uh, Madame Gerritsen 
you just mentioned that you were, quote, ordered, unquote, to come back from Brussels, where you happen to be, to learn a role in three days. Now, you know perfectly well that no such thing could be done today. Are you both ladies implying, or more than implying, that there was more discipline and more oh, rehearsing yes. uh, in your of time? Course. I think so. Oh, yes. my gracious, we were, we, are, we are real soldiers. They ordered us, and we were there under dot. We had to be 15 minutes before the rehearsal, and sometimes we had at 1 o'clock in the night was the performance over, like uh, Wagner yeah. and so, and the next day there was no excuse. Yeah. We had to be under, under stage and rehearsed. Next with, uh, morning? Next, next morning, morning. Yes, in the morning, or or in the like night. Yes. No, no, in the morning, and we worked. But the trouble is, you know, we at Strauss said, we will die as students, and I'm very happy about it because I like to die as a student. You never learn enough, and you n never will learn enough because there are so many things, time marching, marches on, and you have to work with the time. Now, uh, if n those days, if a student a year learns, it uh, like to be right away big prima donna. They don't want to rehearse. Now I b come in bed with, uh, with all the yes, prima donnas, yes, but I apologize for that, but I give them a good advice. You only succeed and only make yourself eternally more if you really study and die, uh, try to die as a student. That's if my it, opinion. But, but I, I'm I, right. no, I, think, I think that <laughs> our singers nowadays have a really fantastic technique. It is the... the, the, the How you get the technique if you don't study? Yeah, but they do. They must do. They, they don't, get that, don't get that from heaven. Oh, I, I, think, think, I personally think it isn't a question of... Um, Technique so much. I agree with Madame Lehmann. We have some pretty good singing yes. in our young singers, oh, my goodness, American of singers. But what is it really that has changed? I think what has changed is not so much, uh, or if the attitude of the singers has changed, this is not a cause, this is a consequence. The yeah. temptations are so much I know, bigger. I know what you, you mean. in your time, although I know that you, your time now, is a very short listen. time now, ago. Now, let me let me say something. Um, we have loved the Vienna Opera. We have loved the Metropolitan. We, we, uh, we looked at it as our musical home. We were very proud if we had a marvelous ensemble. And, you and, that is money today. and that is today not anymore. It is too, uh, too much today. Money minded. But I think I have to st uh, ask to st take that off what I see about the prima donnas not learning. Whatever. Now they love me, then they will hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we discussed that. No, but uh, one thing is very important, which um, is not even to your credit because you were not responsible, responsible for it. You did not have the temptations that young that's singers have today. No, that's you right. could no, not that's sing true. Tosca in Vienna Monday night, no. fly to New York on Tuesday, rehearse no. for an hour Wednesday morning, and sing Tosca but in New York. But it's not morning. good. It's not good it's for them. It's not good certainly isn't good. I, I don't think approve with you because you wouldn't be have done it. I don't it. know, Mitzi. That is I don't know. I think if, if today if I would be a singer yet, I think I would also also surrender to this jet age and would go... No, I won't. I uh, won't. I, I'm not so versed. Mr. Madam Jared said oh, it's always very easy to resist temptation if there is none. Yes. I don't... I don't um, know. May I say in conclusion, uh, Madam Jared and Madam Lehman, I think that two great singers, such as you, whether you teach or have given up teaching, or whatever you do, you never retire. Oh, no. <laughs> I you don't think I retire. can. You yeah. You go to opera, you think about opera, you dream about opera. Isn't that true? Oh, yes. And I write and I paint and I do a lot of oh, things. Oh, I lo love your paintings, but you never they send me one. Send them. You have to send me one. <laughs> oh, so. oh, you love them ahead oh, without knowing them. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, I saw them. I saw them. You saw them. Mm. Well, uh, may I say... Uh, and it sounds trivial if I just say thank you. I don't know what our audiences, audiences will feel. I know that I haven't had an afternoon as wonderful, as entertaining, and, may I say, as instructive as this one. Thank you, Madam Jensen. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Madam Lehmann. Thank you, John. Goodbye, Lottchen. It was a privilege and happy moment. <laughs> <laughs>